Hi, you're watching TechCrunch TV. My name's Colleen Taylor. Here with me in the studio, I have visiting all the way from Boston, Isaiah Kazavinsky, who is the Chief of Business Development at a company called MC10. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Colleen. And um, so I want to hear about MC10 and what the company in general is, but we've got this that you brought by. Yes. So I want to, this, this is your latest product? Yes, the, is the Reebok MC10 check light. Uh, what it does is measures force of impact. Uh, to the head, so for multi-sport, so football, lacrosse, uh, hockey, uh, you know, any contact sport. So it measures an impact to the head, so um, if you get tackled in football or something like this, explain to me what the what the use case is. Yeah, so uh, what this does is we've embedded our electronics, MC10's electronics, in the skull cap, and uh, you wear this uh, during athletic play, and what this does is measures the force of impact, uh, rotational and linear acceleration, on three different planes and puts together uh, and you know and plugs it into the algorithm that gives you uh, the the idea of uh, threshold and impact and, and how much energy was delivered to the head. Okay, and I understand that you have some you know special experience in this space. You're a little beefier than most <laughs> <laughs> startup guys that I talk to. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, so I played uh, eight years in the NFL. Um, and uh, retired, had, had eight surgeries while, while I was in the NFL. And um, this, is a, this is something that's near and dear to me. Uh, you know, I suffered seven concussions when I was in the NFL. And, um, you know, I've got a son now that I want to play uh, the sport that I love and uh, to be able to enjoy that. But the game has to be a different game than I played. It has to be a safer game. And that's, uh, you know, one of the big driving forces on uh, why, I, why I first became involved with MC10 and why I'm pushing this forward. And what is so dangerous about the current game of, you know, football or lacrosse? You know, have we been seeing more impacts lately, or what's what's this larger situation? What's the problem? I think the larger situation is the awareness and the, the scientific evidence coming out is the the uh, repeated effects of, of repeated blows to the head uh, can have deleterious effects later on in life, and um, being able to address that, especially at a young age. And not not that anybody's necessarily going to feel bad for anybody in the NFL or NHL, et cetera, but being able to protect our youth of America and be able to have safety measures in place and safeguards uh, to really preserve contact sports and all the good things that they provide uh, our, our children is important. Now, I want to get into that a little bit because some people out here who are just in the tech community who aren't um, necessarily experienced in sports, they'd say, what are the benefits to these contact sports? Why not just get rid of them all together if they're so dangerous? Why why preserve, you know, these sports at all? Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's a really good question, but it's, it's a simple answer. And um, the, the idea of, you know, contact sports, and especially for me, uh, you know, just teaching me things in my life that I, no one else could have taught me. Uh, I couldn't have read it in a book. I couldn't have done it anywhere else except live through it, live through, you know, the idea of learning, you know, perseverance and uh, hard work and, the idea of just battling through adversity is something that you know is, I was able to learn on the field, and millions and millions and millions of other people still learn that every single day, and that that can't just be ripped away. And that that is the fiber of America, it's fiber of our, of our culture, and not that's that's the only way, but I think it's one of the very very important uh, identifiers of American culture. So we've got to keep the sports, but make them safer. Explain to me then. Can I put this on? Oh yeah. <laughs> so what you? happens? What's the? I put it on. Perfect. You got like this? it. this? Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, I, I think, is that? Oh, you well, got it. You're perfect. You should, is it? Oh, yeah. no. Straight. Got to get that logo right up front. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so. We got to give you a smaller size uh, skull cap. So, I don't know. I have a pretty big head. Okay. So what what happens? So I'm, I'm on the football field. I'm playing, you know, powder puff or whatever. What happens? So, uh, you know, so whatever you'd be wearing, so, you know, say you're playing uh, field hockey, okay. you'll know, put, you know, something on, you know, helmet on. Um, you experience an impact over a, a threshold. So we have a yellow threshold for moderate impact, red for severe. Uh, you, you experience, uh, say if you experience a severe impact, the, the light would blink and would stay on until you are assessed on the sideline. So extra set of eyes on you as the player, uh, the light triggers. Uh, you're able to get to the sidelines, be assessed, and really takes the pressure of doing that out of out of your hands. And um, 
you know, makes it, you know, this objective uh, force of measurement okay. is, is, is important to, to be able to do that. And it's very lightweight, I have to say, and this, and this is the light you're talking about. Yes, exactly. Right so there's a, there's a light system in the back here, uh, red light in the middle, uh, yellow light over here, and the, the difference in thresholded impact is, is how that triggers based on scientific evidence, lab data, um, and this body of work that we've continued to grow. And, you know, the, the, the biomechanics community has, has grown up to this point. Can you tell me about how much it costs, where I can get it, and then I also want to hear about the field trials. Yeah, so the uh, check light will be available uh, in the early part of this year. Uh, <clears throat> will be available to consumers at a, at a price point that will be affordable and um, somewhere they, that you could access that's not out of line with consumer electronics products and the price of you know, buying equipment for you know, different sports. Um, you know, some of the, you know, we've been through rounds and rounds of testing and uh, really being able to see the, the powerful uh, changes in behavior where kids are avoiding wanting the red light to trigger is, is absolutely huge. And then being able to take the idea of um, the invisible injury and something that's just kind of to, to the, you know, the, the individual athlete going through it and then take that out of their hands and having a red light trigger objective uh, light trigger on force of impact is is has been really really powerful too, and it really takes that from the individual to more of the community aspect. Good stuff. And um, quickly here, I just want to hear about MC10 as a company because it sounds like you guys have other things in play. Uh, this is just one of your implementations. Yeah, I could talk about MC10 forever. Uh, love the company and uh, what we're doing, but you know the idea of a, of a platform technology that. Is uh, is really uh, an application technology you can apply to so many different things, and um, you know we've got a digital health and a medical device, and then you know sports and fitness side. But um, you know really being able to kind of change the way um, that you you know from from what I'm concerned with as far as you know digital health and, and sports being able to change the way you think about your health and performance, and um, instead of like an episodic view of your health, you know every time you visit the doctor, every time, but having this proactive approach on how you look at your health is, is very important and you know being able to do that while innovating on form and being able to wear you know wearable patches uh, you know a tattooed skin patch where you're able to you know whatever metric you want to look at uh, being able to look at that and and have that proactive approach on your health is important sounds good well um, Isaiah from MC10 thank you for coming by and keep us posted on everything else that comes out thanks Colleen I appreciate it